Hey guys, Rod here at A Better Way to Farm. Excited to uh, be talking to you on a hot Tuesday afternoon. Had uh, quite the day yesterday. I'm sure you've had some days like this. The deer, which the state of Iowa protects like a god, have ran through a barbed wire fence so many times that it actually broke the fence. And that was the fence that kept my cattle from getting in my corn. So yesterday afternoon, I'm doing the deal, you know, walking through corn 10 feet, 12 feet tall, pulling all over, choking to death. Felt like it was 150 degrees. I don't know what it really was, but it was hot. And um, and we got all done and we have a new guy helping us on the farm, which we really appreciate a lot. His name was Hunter. And Hunter and I were riding in the side by side and he goes, wow, best day ever. And I, I kind of looked at him and I smiled and he goes, you know, Rod, he said, uh, the the, the worst day here on the farm is the best day ever. And we were talking about the fact that we lived in Chicago. And God bless the people that want to live in the city. I mean that. God bless them. I'm, I'm happy for them. I don't want to and I can't. And I, I thank God every day that he let us be out here with the dust flying on this gravel road. And uh, having the opportunity to fix the fence that the deer broke. And the opportunity to get the heifers out of the out of the corn and it really got me thinking I thought that was pretty insightful for a young man that's 20 years old it's our attitude we get to pick you know we get to pick is it the best day ever or the worst day ever you know a few years ago we had a, a mouse nest and a tractor catch on fire and we burn a tractor up and Hunter said you know well it's, a, it's always the best day out here unless you burn something up and I thought back I didn't say anything to him but the fact is we had a tractor burn up do I wish it had been different? Oh, absolutely. I I actually like that tractor very, very much. But the fact of the matter was, it wasn't the worst day. You know, if we've got our health and we get the chance to do what we love, then we are having the best day ever. And I do believe that the worst day right out here on the farm is better than the best day I could have in a city somewhere. So guys, just a little, you know, tonight we're not talking agronomy. We're just talking attitude, gratefulness, and attitude of gratitude, if you will and being grateful for what we have and grateful to experience the frustrations and the stress and the, the fear, but grateful to get to do what we do, to do it intergenerationally with our kids, our parents, our grandkids, and it's a great, great way of life. I hope that you guys are really having your best day ever.